Hey there, I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things, welcome. It's time to take a look at what I picked up on my epic journey to Coco Fest and beyond. What makes the trip epic? Well, if you have to ask, then you obviously have not seen the video about my trip to Coco Fest and beyond. Check it out in the link in the description. What I'm going to do today is a simple bit of show and tell. I'm going to take a look at everything that I purchased and was given to me at Coco Fest 2023, as well as the things that were given to me on my trip home from Coco Fest. I guess there's nothing else to do but get started looking at stuff. So we're starting here with one of the big things, because I cannot go to one of these shows without picking up a computer. I got myself a ColecoVision Atom. So got the keyboard. Now this isn't a full Atom. It doesn't have the printer, which is the power source. So I have to build a power source for myself um, so that I can use this. And this isn't the full computer. This is actually the um, expansion module that plugs into the ColecoVision. So this is what turns your ColecoVision into an Atom computer. And one of the things I really liked about it is it has this, which is the holding plate for it. So the Atom sits on there and the ColecoVision sits on there so that they um, basically are held together. I also got this Radio Shack chess computer. Now, unfortunately, all the chess pieces are not with it and I haven't tested it out to see if it was working, but this was donated to me. I do like chess, so I'm gonna find some replacement pieces, probably not in the same style that actually comes with this thing, but I'll replace the chess pieces in it and then I'll try it out and see if the uh, computer, well, of course the computer is probably going to beat me. I like chess, I'm just not very good at it. And I picked up two things here from David Craker. So this is a serial null modem cable. So you plug this into, you can plug two color computers together with this and he had it set up at Coco Fest to play, uh, I think, P51, where you uh, dogfight two uh, um, airplanes. But uh, yeah, so that'll be interesting to play with. And a uh, composite video uh, modification for a color computer one or two. Now, there's some nice things about this, which I'll get into when I actually put this into one of my computers. Another thing that was donated to me was this Radio Shack two-way audio video um, selector. So you can plug in two different uh, composite to one composite out, and then you can select which one you want to use. Somebody used it for PlayStation. I also picked up the Coco Diagnostic Cart from Frank from uh, Retro Rewind, so I can uh, test out to see if my Cocos work when I get them. And here I got a game Gems 2 that was uh, kindly given to me by John Strong. So I'm looking forward to playing this game. I got a bumper sticker for my car. My other computer is a Tandy Radio Shack Color Computer 3. Now all I have to do is get a car I can put this on. This is from Ron Delvo. I purchased another Coco 3 Keyfix 3. This one is different from the one that I installed last year. This is a quieter switch one. So I'm going to be able to put this in my other Coco 3 and test out... Uh, how it sounds comparatively. And uh, yeah, so this is available at computerconnect.com. 
another thing that I'm looking forward to playing with that was kindly donated to me, this one by Sloopy Malibu, is... This is a... This is called the Pocket TRS. So this is basically a um, TRS-80 Model 1 or 3 on a tiny little chip. So that's the entire computer right there. So I'm looking forward to playing with that. And games. I got some of my favorite types of games, adventure games. Now, unfortunately, none of these are for the uh, Tandy computer. Uh, this one's for the C64, the Bard's Tale. And then we have the Bard's Tale 2, I believe also for the C64. It actually doesn't say on here, but I'm assuming it is. Questron for the Atari. AD&D, Curse of the Azure Bonds for the C64. AD&D, Heroes of the Lance for the C64. And AD&D, Pool of Radiance for the C64. Had this one on my Apple II when I was a kid. Loved it. And on my way home, this was donated to the channel. It is chocked full of stuff. And it's a lot of stuff from different systems. So let's move this box down to the floor and start pulling things out to take a look. We will start with the joysticks. I got two joysticks in that box. One is a TRS-80 Deluxe joystick, but it's only got the one button, so it is a five-pin DIN. The other is a joystick I've already been using a whole bunch, and that is a pistol grip Tandy joystick. Six pin, so it has two fire buttons. And uh, yeah, it's quite comfortable. Suction cups for the feet. I did not know that Tandy even made one of these, so I was quite uh, happy to get this and am enjoying it greatly. I'm hoping it's going to help get me better scores on the Game On Challenge. I also got here a miscellaneous, uh, looks like a Commodore cartridge. It's got no label. Unfortunately, my Commodore computer currently is not working, so I will have to wait till a future date to find out what is even on this cartridge. And here we got a deluxe graphics display adapter for the Tandy 1200, 1200 HD, PC, or PC compatible. So, as you can see, it's a big old graphics card there. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have any of those computers, and they're not particularly computers that I know a lot about. This may go pa get passed on to somebody that will be able to use it. And I got some discs. This first pack is all just blank discs that somebody has put various programs on. And honestly, not even sure what computer these particular ones are for, so I guess I will have to figure that out. And here we got a sealed pack. So, new old stock. Excellent. There's more discs. Now, some of these are commercial discs, but most of them are just copied discs and uh, so we've got one for the Apple II GS here and some say Atari on them so I'm gonna guess that this case is probably a mixture of Atari and Apple II discs. Uh, this is for the Apple II GS. These are some 
Commodore 64, and Atari. So these discs could be for, well, any of those systems. There are more discs. And these ones, no idea. They, I don't think these ones actually... Say, I haven't seen anything that says what these ones are for. And this one... Oh, okay. Uh, also doesn't say anything about... what system they're for. So... Guess I get to figure out what systems those are. These discs are for. And yes, there's even one more pack of discs. Again, not sure what systems these ones are for. Not even sure what a lot of these games are. It just says disc one, two, three. There's Print Shop, Jupiter Mission. And books. We got some books. These ones look to be a bunch of... Um, those would be instruction manuals. Here's a game for the Atari 800XL. That's uh, Mach 2 Combat Flight Simulator. Spartados. Rule book for Fantastic. Fantasy 1 and Fantasy 2, more instruction books, game stuff, uh, DOS 3, and another DOS 3 book. And here we got some nice games, Face Maker for the Atari 800. I actually have this one as well for the color computer. Story Machine for the Atari 800. Math Blaster for the Atari and Commodore 64. And Word Attack for the Atari and Commodore 64. I'm going to guess uh, probably where these all came from. They had kids. So I'm seeing a lot of Sesame Street and Disney and learning games like that. And a whole bunch more documentation. So... This one's called Program Directory, and it is full of just a bunch of uh, instruction manuals and whatnot. Print Whiz, uh, some animation program, Movie Maker Toolkit. So lots of stuff in there. Here we have the Elementary Atari. I guess I can learn some Atari programming there. And TRS-80 Model 100 Portable Computer. So this will teach me how to use my Model 100 better. And another Model 100 book. Boy, I should be an expert on my Model 100 by the time I read through all these. And... In the black binder, we have the Computer Learning Lab for the TRS-80 color computer. Not sure if I have that program, but hey, I have the instructions now. And finally in that package, that particular box, some magazines. So we start here with a 1991 Radio Shack catalog. Always fun to look through these and wish that I had bought all of these things when I was uh, back then. And a 1988 Radio Shack catalog. Even better. And then these are a pile of TRS-80 Microcomputer News magazines. So, those will go great in my collection of old magazines. And that was everything that was in the first box.
And because I said the first box, you know that definitely means there was another box. Now this is a much simpler box. It's all Atari Power Bricks for various systems. Atari STs, regular Ataris, Atari disk drives, everything in here. So I now have a whole bunch of Atari um, Power Bricks. Actually more Power Bricks now than I have Ataris. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. That was overwhelming. I mean, a big thank you to anybody that donated stuff to me on this little trip to Coco Fest and beyond. It was it was just incredible. Thank you so very much. And you can definitely watch out for a bunch of this stuff in upcoming videos because the gears are already turning on what I can do with this stuff and uh, what I can do to show it to you more. So I'm looking forward to making those videos. So I hope you enjoyed this little video on everything that I picked up on my little trip to Coco Fest and beyond. Don't forget that a like, a subscribe, and a comment below are all things that greatly help out the channel. So until that next video comes out, I will see you later.